Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jack here with another video. Today we're taking a look at GeForce Now. This has been a, in development for about two years, but it has launched and we're going to take a look at the setup and the gameplay. So we're here on the GeForce Now website. I'll leave a link in the description below. But all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom. But on the way, you'll see some of the games here that it supports. Um, you will be able to use your Steam library so you don't have to rebuy games like you do on Google Stadia. And then if we get all the way down here past the devices, we'll take a look at that in a minute, you'll get to the choose a membership option. So they have two currently, there's a free option, which is standard access. And what that means is when you join um, to go online, you'll have to wait in a queue to get onto the server and you're limited to a one hour session in length. Uh, if you go for the Founders Edition here, that's $4.99 a month for 12 months, but you get priority access, so you'll go to the front of the queue to join the servers. You'll get extended sessions to, I believe, four hours, and you'll get RTX, so ray tracing support uh, on these games that support it. And then you'll see here, you also get a, three, a free 90-day introductory period. So worth trying it out here if you want to do that. But just taking a look at the devices it supports, so it will support Mac OS 10.10 or later, uh, Windows PCs running Windows 7 or later, a Nvidia Shield and Android devices with two gigs of RAM running Android 5.0 or later. And basically with the computers, anyone with a uh, graphics integrated or dedicated will be able to decode the video. So you can see there all the supported devices and the graphics needed. We're going to go ahead and go back to this page and click the join founders. So it does just take a second to load up. And then what you're going to need to do is sign in to your NVIDIA account or you can create one here. So I'm going to do that and we'll come back once I've done that. Okay, so once you've logged in, you'll be greeted with this screen here. So for the Founders Edition, you will need to pay $4.99 a month after the free trial period. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in all the details needed and we'll get back once that's done. Yeah, so once you've finished signing up there, you just need to download for your relevant device. So in the case of myself, I'm using a razor blade. I'm going to hit download for Windows PC. Obviously, if you had a Mac, click download for that. And then if you're on a NVIDIA Shield, you'll want to do it on the TV there. And for an Android device, you can search in the Google Play Store. So you can see we're just downloading it now. Should be done in about 10 seconds. So as I said, I'm on a razor blade. This does have a dedicated graphics card, but I'm still interested to see how it performs through the internet streaming a game. So we're gonna go ahead and hit open file. And we're loading up now to GeForce Okay, so after having shot all of the video uh, and some of the gameplay, it didn't actually record the gameplay, so I'm having to shoot this again. So after installing the GeForce Now experience, I had to log in with my GeForce account, you can see up here, and then you'll be greeted with this screen, and you just have to search to find a game that you have on, say, Steam, and then you launch it, and I'll go ahead and do that now. But then all you have to do is sign into your Steam account, and it's going to give you the option to install the game. If you click that, it actually is instant. Uh, it's just, I think, verifying that you have the game. But we're going to go ahead and run this again. So my first experience was a bit bad, to be honest, um, very stuttery. The GeForce experience said that it was uh, had enough bandwidth, but not the recommended amount. It was 30 one on their test with a minimum of 15 it's wanted so it should have been enough but it seemed pretty stuttery and the resolution wasn't great so i'm going to adjust the settings down from ultra to just high on dead by daylight it's not a very demanding game um, but obviously it's still being streamed through the internet so we're just gonna have to see how we get on this time if you guys have the same experience let me know down below or better let me know how you get on with your game, whatever it is, what you're running, um, what your internet speed is. Let us all know how you're getting on with it. So we're launching in here. It all seems normal. Um, 
you have pretty much the same um, settings as you would if you were playing it locally. So launching in here, takes slightly longer I think than normal. And you can see there a bit of the stutters, sometimes that happens in the game when you're looking at, uh, running it locally. So we're going to go here into options. Okay, so it's already reset it to high, um, but we'll go back anyway. Uh, hit player survivor. I'm going to wait, uh, cut out here, and I'll join you once we're back in the game so you can see some of the gameplay. All right, so we're just launching into the game here. So you can see it actually looks slightly better than what I was seeing before. Yeah, a lot better than it was before. Now, whether that's because there are less people using the internet, I don't honestly know. Sorry, I'm trying to play one-handed here. But you can see a lot smoother. If I run back out here, you can see a lot smoother gameplay. I know you can't see what it was before, but this actually looks playable. So I'm going to head and play this game and see what it's like. So you can see that in the right hand side over here there was that red mark there so that's showing that it's got a bad connection and you can see now that uh, there's actually someone else on the network um, in my house and you can see the quality has gone down a lot so it's a lot harder to play like this so bear that in mind if you have other people using the internet whilst you're trying to use GeForce now at the moment it's not working too well that again will depend on your internet but something to bear in mind if you have a lot of people in your house streaming video or playing games that is going to affect the gameplay but i'll uh, carry on playing and see what it's like so i just finished up with that game hopefully it gave you a good idea of how it looks um, with good connection and with a not so good one it will vary so as i said depending on if there's other people for me that's how it worked if there's other people on the network using the internet it seemed to dip in quality and um, refresh rate so just bear that in mind if you have other people that could be not such a great experience but if you have fast internet uh, with just a few people should be pretty good experience so let me know as i said how you guys get on with your own geforce now experience uh, post a comment down below on your internet speed what games you're playing and what kind of frame rate you're getting um, or how smooth it is um, and if you're new to the channel, do subscribe over there on the left. And if you enjoyed or found this video useful, do please hit that like button down below. It really helps out the channel. But as I said, I'll see you guys in the next video.